Let me show you the flotator. This is one of the most incredible features Mojang have added in a while. Just a single one of these will allow your entire house to float away. Lots of people show this off, but lots of those people don't realize that you can actually chain these together. And so if we have five of them, we can say <laughs> goodbye blacksmith. And so this is hilarious and is one of the great uses for the poison potato, which by the way, is an idea so taboo, you literally cannot suggest it. It's on Mojang's rejected idea list to give any use to this item. Yet despite that, they gave it over a hundred in this snapshot. This is a company which only adds a couple of dozen features to the major updates each year, yet managed to add over a hundred to a joke snapshot. Why is that possible? Well, it's because they don't have to do any of these things, simply put, but despite the lack of polish, some of these are actually really good, and let's jump into the potato dimension to show you my 10 favorites. Number 10, baked potato does it well. Absolutely no notes. This could be added to Minecraft tomorrow. However, most of the features in this snapshot, despite how fun they are, clearly require a lot of changes to make it into regular Minecraft, and that is part of the point of this video, to say that there are lots of really good ideas, but they probably all need some tweaks. Such as a new dimension, this is something I think everyone wants, the ninth best feature. However, I think the things that Mojang can take as notes from this is not that they should have poison potato mobs everywhere, but instead that there's a really clever way of linking to them, because they are linked to via these village uh, portal lectons. They're really, really fun places, these stands right here, but every single time there is a village in the potato dimension, there is a village in the regular dimension too. There are also ruined potato portals that always link the two, but having dimensions which are always linked via certain points is a much better idea than the never portal or the end portal or the Aether portal, which let's be honest has been done to death. So I love this as an adaptation of that idea, but an idea that they could take in the current set of dimensions, having just three, that I think would be really great, is one that these potato villagers sometimes do, or at least I thought it was the potato villagers. It turns out it's actually a biome generation that just perfectly matches. A clever solution to the verticality that you'll find in many overworld biomes that have villages is found right here in this potato plains, as you can see, which is just having staircases. Villages already have pathways going around them, and these pathways can sometimes go up and down stairs, but what's unique about the stairs here is they will bridge over gaps in the air or make terrain slightly smoother so that villagers can actually traverse it. It's really weird how you'll sometimes find villages that have parts that just aren't accessible because there's no realistic path between them, and so this biome goes absolutely nuts with that idea, by the way, because you can find pathways everywhere through it, which is maybe a bit too much for nature, I would say. It takes away some of the natural charm of Minecraft. But if there's already a village with man-made structures, why can't it have some man- <laughs> Okay, it is. <laughs> Here's one of the flaws and things they need to polish. Uh, but if you've already got a biome with man-made structures, why not have a few staircases in there? I think that villagers could do it. And what's wrong with you, Mojang? Do you think they're too stupid? Because if you do think they're too stupid, the good news is, is some players are too. Because the seventh best idea is the flotator, which I know you're already thinking, how can this be seventh toy cat? This is by far the very best. But I would say the problem with the flotator is not in selling its value to people. This is the thing that people absolutely love about it, but instead trying to work out how this could ever come to regular Minecraft. So the value in it is very clear to see. You can take an entire village if you want to and have it float away with all of the land attached to it too, by the way, as insane as that is to say. But the thing about this that makes it a little bit more questionable is how would you ever cap its value in survival? No matter how hard or rare it was to obtain, the ability to take someone else's bait and just bait, sorry, and float it all the way up to the sky, maybe take someone's bait and float it up there too. Uh, but the fact that you could do that is absolutely bonkers. It is OP on every level, and no matter how you tried to balance it, it wouldn't work out. It is also a very intensive thing in terms of resources, and also you can't play around with the blocks. So it doesn't work on a practical level, it doesn't work on a game design level, it doesn't work on a balance level, and honestly, it's a little bit buggy in terms of how it works too. But look okay, the island. So. Like, I look oh. down, like, oh, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Someone cool Oh my god. <laughs> Whoa. I got to see you move for about a second and a half, <laughs> and then you Whoa. were just gone. <laughs> but it's so, so beautiful. And I think if they were to add it to the game, it would have to be a much more limited size area and probably creative only. I know that's lame to say, like this really cool survival feature should be creative only, but it is what I genuinely think is true because if this was a creative feature, they would have much more freedom as to how to actually use it. And I think that's kind of fun personally. Also, you can then combine this with say a flotato like I'll do right now, uh, just to deliberately make this crash into something. And then once we've crashed into something, we can say, actually, 
actually, let's go that way now. And now the entire island is moving over there. This is such a fun concept that even if it has to be commands only, behind a toggle only, the server admins only, whatever it has to be, there's so much fun to be had. But if you put this loose on anyone's Minecraft world, there will be more negative consequences than positive. And maybe that's a sad state of how uh, you kind of have to keep innovation to a certain size in regular Minecraft. But I really do think it's true that a feature like this could never be in the base game, despite how incredible it is. And honestly, I'm kind of glad that you have to make janky contraptions right now, because all of those janky contraptions have limits, which are far below what this could do when you add it to the game. So yeah, isn't this beautiful? The answer is of course yes, which is also true for the fletching table, which has one of the weirdest updates here. Uh, as you can see, it has this hilariously expanding UI and also a nonsensical function in taking your toxic resin and turning it into cash, but only if you have the perfectly correct impurities. Honestly, it's a very, very silly, uh, goofy system, but being powered by feathers and having a input-output use is actually a really good idea, but you can see how it's literally just an idea, surrounded by a lot of memes and jokes. They could couldn't ever add this to a real update and just say, yeah, just have the shrugs, emojis, and purities, and then you'll do just great. This is something which needs to be more self-explanatory, and that's why they could add it to this April Fool snapshot, but also couldn't add it to the regular game. But I hope that we get a use for the fletching table. That's right, I'm using this video as an excuse to say fletching table needs a use with you. Come on, you can do it, Mojang. I believe in you. Just like how I might believe. <laughs> Do you see what just happened there? I got an advancement for being so hungry I could eat my shirt. So when you get hungry and you have potato armor on, what happens is you'll eat that chest plate automatically while running around the world. This might sound like a silly goofy feature, but actually I really like it. As you can see, I've got poison potato chest plate and poison potato shoes on. Or sorry, poison potatoes on. <laughs> but while I've got this armor on, I will not take any hunger because, uh, in fact, let me show you a potion of harming. If I were to take any hunger damage, that would all come straight out of my armor. This might seem really dumb, but honestly, for long-term survival players, for people who are, uh, you know, re are relatively safe, not needing to wear armor is a fairly true thing, and being able to focus more time on actually building rather than having to work out what you have to eat and give, having a whole stack of your inventory be consumed by it is much, much worse. So, although this chest plate only lasts for five hits, having a chest plate that could last or a hat or something like that that could last for much, much longer would actually be a viable alternative in that slot. And Mojang has added so many joke helmets anyway, then maybe that's a good idea. Speaking of jokes, one of my favorites uh, is something which also could be repurposed. People say Mojang should add new paintings all the time, but personally, I think rather than diluting the current pool, they should have different painting sizes. And this one is definitely a different size. This is an eight by eight painting. And if you want to see it, it looks like this. <laughs> Which is absolutely great, right? What is not to love here? The answer is nothing is not to love here. I think that this is a really, really good idea if they actually added some art that was giant. And uh, obviously, I do think that 8x8 might be a little big, but going 6x6 or bigger than any current painting might actually be a really good idea. Wait, you know, it's hard to see right here. Let's go using some flotatoes uh, to quickly get away from this real quick, because let me show you one of the most incredible things you can do in Minecraft. The flotato is the best idea, and I know it's a dumb pun on Plotato, but it's floating, but I really, really love this as a block. So the third best feature in this entire snapshot, in my opinion, is the Flotato, which allows you to do emergency parkour, it allows you to do mid-air parkour, but more importantly, it solves the problem of saying, okay, I want to build something right here in this empty space, rather than having to scaffold up or place dirt down or, you know, do something which you'll later have to destroy. With this system, you just get as close to as you like, maybe using an Elytra, and then you could jump onto the block you want to, oh no, <laughs> the block you actually want to place, which is really, really fun. Then you place the rest of the blocks up from here, which I really, really love as a concept. Being able to place blocks in midair is so, so powerful. This would have to be rare and only used in specific situations, but I love the idea of being able to, you know, on creative servers, on servers where you have infinite access, use it for stuff like bridging across a gap, being slightly more efficient, or even for doing stuff like, yeah, you want to get away from someone, you can make a parkour in midair they have to follow that you can't. It's a great escape tool, but it's also a great 
great creativity tool, and that's what Minecraft needs, creativity. Which is why the second best thing in this entire snapshot is the potato planks. So if you haven't seen these yet, let me quickly get some, because its preferred tool is uh, currently the hoe, as silly as that might sound. But this is the potato stem, it is based on the nether stems, and it makes potato planks, which come in the most delightful color that Minecraft has, it's green. That's right, yo, oh, it's so good, isn't it? That's not a question, by the way, that's a statement of fact. However, this temporarily turns me into someone who can agree with the Mojang hater for a second, because the reason they can't add most of the updates, you know, year round in the same speed that they can add normal features, is because normal features have to go through a QA process. There needs to be graphics designers and audio designers, and there's to be meetings between these people so they all agree about the direction. Also, it has to be parity between versions and tested many times across many languages, etc, etc, etc. That all adds a huge amount of time, plus the idea of just, does every feature make sense? However, a new type of wood is something that whenever it is added, people say is a positive thing. When they add one new wood type to an update, really good. When they add three new wood types, really good. Two new wood types, that's great as well. Adding new creativity to Minecraft is great, and I honestly look at this new type of wood and say, they could add this tomorrow in its current form, no changes whatsoever. You could make it out of potatoes still if you really wanted to, and people would still be in love with it. In fact, the test of how good a wood type is, is if you make a woodland mansion from it, and as you can see, this woodland mansion is beautiful. Potato planks go so well in this context, and honestly, although it looks a little bit like it's a mint chocolate chip mansion, it is still one that makes me say, why can't we have this? However, unlike most people who then decide to hate uh, publicly on Mojang and say, oh, it's a lazy game with lazy developers, I instead am going to take this opportunity to try and work out what it is about a new wood type that can't be added except for once every two to three years, because the only good explanation that I can come up with right here is that for game design reasons, it's better to have one or two new woods at a time every few years, so that when you get back into Minecraft, if it's been a couple of years, you don't have eight new woods and eight new biomes to go back into, but even then, that doesn't hold up to the fact that they designed so many more biomes just without woods for certain updates in the past, so I would love to actually learn in this experience, and I'd love to know your thoughts on what the actual answer could be, because again, add this tomorrow and I will be so happy. Make it for Azalea, make it for a brand new type of wood, make it out potatoes, I'll be having a great time, but there's only one thing that I would have a greater time with, I'm gonna vanish now, uh, but I would have a greater time uh, with this, the lashing potato, or the potato vine, or the grappling potato, however you want to refer to this, this is a really, really fun one. So, honestly, in the overworld, it has its least use compared to the never and the end, and especially the potato dimension, but even here it has so much use as an alternative to the elytra, or at least as a com combination with the elytra, because here's the great thing, you can grapple onto any piece of terrain and immediately be taken up there. Look how incredible that feels. I love this for getting around your world, and what's even better about this is it would make me redesign my Minecraft world specifically around it. So here is a platform over here which I would place so that I would have something to grapple onto and then from here I would grapple up to there and from here I could grapple up to the next one and I would swing around my world like Spider-Man using pre- oh no pre-designed platforms. Okay I messed it up. See that was a real skill situation. There is probably a good reason why something like this can't be added and the best one to me is the fact that it doesn't actually work correctly. It doesn't grapple onto anything, and honestly, it's very, very OP, but a version of this being in survival would be insane to me, and that, that's why I would love it. I, I think this is the number one best feature that Minecraft should at least consider working out how to add, because it is high risk, but it also is high reward. I'm just kidding. The, the number zero feature is, of course, the frying table. We deserve to be able to grill. There are so many discussions that Minecraft wants us to have in the world about being better people and about uh, inclusivity and blah, 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 blah. Lots of things that they have opinions on. So I want to have opinions about which potatoes grill the best, and that's why we need a frying table. I love that this was just Mojang hinting their April Fools. I think that's a very playful thing, and I'm glad that it finally got added to the game so that we know no frying table in 1.21, thank god. Speaking of things uh, that aren't coming in 1.21, this video, I hope you all enjoyed it. It was a little bit of a messy one uh, to get together, but it was a lot of hopefully very good features in this update. If you enjoyed it, like it and let me know, and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah. Oh, also, I've got a full history of every April Fool's joke, just in case you're curious, because a lot of for a lot of people, this would have been their first. But yeah, thank you for watching, and uh, have a good day, unless your name is Mutato. Goodbye.